Hello friends, welcome to our channel SmartView. Hope you all are doing well as usual. If you are new to our channel, then please feel free to share and like our videos and subscribe our channel to never miss a future update from our side. Press red color subscribe button and never forget to click bell icon near to it so that you can receive all updated notification from our side. Can I catch COVID-19 from the feces of someone with the disease? Can coronavirus spread through farts? Let's discuss the answer to this question. While initial investigations suggest the virus may be present in the feces in the some cases, to date, spread through this route is not main feature of the outbreak. There have not been reports of fecal oral transmissions of COVID-19. Additionally, there is no evidence to date on the survival of the COVID-19 virus in the water and sewage. The risk of catching COVID-19 from the feces of an infected person appears to be low. The ongoing research on the way of COVID-19 is spread and will continue to share new findings because this is a risk. However, it is another reason to clean hands regularly after using the bathroom and before eating. New research from the many countries indicate that the novel coronavirus is also spread by fecal oral transmission, not just by the respiratory droplets or environmental contacts. The some people cited up medical experiments in which the people passed the gas into petri dish, once with the pants on and once without. The petri dish from the latter included glut flora, while the former did not. China's Center for Disease Control and Prevention announced earlier this year that the pens are an effective barrier against the spread of the novel coronavirus through the past gas. On a microscopic level, it is true that the fecal matter can be found in the past gas. As some studies indicate, scientists have detected viral remnants in feces, although some studies said it's still unclear whether the virus can be spread in that way. A significant portion of coronavirus patients experience diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and or abdominal discomfort before the onset of respiratory symptoms. Viral RNA is detectable in the fecal sample from suspected cases, indicating that the virus shed into the stool. The viral gastrointestinal infections and the potential fecal oral transmission can last even after viral clearance from the respiratory tract. Evidence from the 2003 SARS epidemic also showed enteric involvements and the presence of virus in the stools of the patients even after discharge from the hospital. Interestingly, the first confirmed case of COVID-19 in US, which occurred in the Washington state, reported a two-day history of nausea and vomiting on admission followed by the loose bowel movement on the second day of hospitalization. The viral nucleic acids of the loose stool and the both respiratory specimens from these patients later tested positive. Intracellular staining of viral nucleocapsid protein in the gastric, duodenal, and rectal epithelia showed that the virus infected glandular epithelial cells in this area, and the research reported this. The continuous positive detections of the viral RNA from the feces suggests that the infection's virions are secreted from the virus infected gastrointestinal cells. The immunofluorescent data showed that the ACE2 proteins, which has been proved to be the cell receptor for SARS coronavirus 2, is abundantly expressed in the glandular cells of gastric, duodenal, and rectal epithelia, supporting the entry of SARS coronavirus 2, which is the host cell. Therefore, some countries strongly recommended that the uh, RT-PCR, that is a reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reactions testing for SARS coronavirus 2 from feces should be performed routinely in SARS coronavirus 2 patients. And the transmission based precautions for hospitalized SARS coronavirus 2 patients should be continued if the feces test is positive by RT-PCR testing. Recent reports of a mild to moderate liver injury in the coronavirus 19 patients, including the elevated amino transfer disease, 
hypoproteinemia and the prothrombin time prolongations while in the SARS epidemic of 2003 as many as 60% of patients had liver impairment the presence of viral nucleic acids of SARS in the liver tissue confirmed the coronavirus direct infections in the liver and the percutaneous liver biopsy of SARS showed conspicuous mitosis and apoptosis along with the atypical features such as acidophilic bodies, ballooning of hepatocytes and lobular activities without the fibrin deposition or fibrosis. Altogether, many efforts should be made to be alert to the initial digestive symptoms of COVID-19 for the early detections, early diagnosis, early isolation and early intervention. The CDC's website confirms that while the coronavirus has been found in the fecal matter of some of those infected, there has been no confirmed fecal oral transmissions of a disease and it's not known whether that the viral matter found in the stool is infectious. The risk is accepted to the minimal, however, based on evidence from the related coronavirus outbreak like severe acute respiratory syndrome that is a SARS and the Middle East respiratory syndrome that is a MERS to the CDC. So similarly, the World Health Organization that is a WHO classifies the risk of catching COVID-19 from the contacts with infected persons feces as a law. But because there is a risk, the WHO website advises people to wash their hands regularly after using the bathroom and before eating. I hope this video was helpful and it was. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and share these videos with at least one of your friends to help them as well. If you have not only subscribed to the channel, considering the subscribing to get notified when we will upload the next video. Do leave comments below. I love hearing from you. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Have a nice day ahead. Friends, stay tuned. Next parts of this video are coming on channel. Thanks for the discussion. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye. Bye bye.